Uh, I just really like the opportunity here. Um, talking to Dan, just got a good vibe. You know, felt like I, it was a good fit, and just can't beat the opportunity. How did they describe the opportunity to you? Um, just that you know, it was, it was open for the taking, and if I go in and I perform, that anything can happen. Mike, were you weighing some other things, or was it pretty clear? Yeah, that this we would were. Be we had a few options that we were weighing out, but um, in the end, just this seemed like the best fit. What is it to you that's so intriguing about this club in particular? Um, you know, I think that there's just like I've been saying, the opportunity that presents itself is is the most interesting part. Um, I've kind of always been an Orioles fan. I watched them growing up, so that had a part of it. Um, but yeah, just the opportunity that was presented. Is it a different spring training approach for you in that a veteran pitcher who knows he's on the team might have one approach? You're trying to show him you should be on the team. Yeah, I mean, I think we're all going into it just competing and competing against each other, competing against ourselves and having fun with it. Is there spring anyone training? in the clubhouse or in the organization that you're familiar with from other teams? Or anything? No, I've actually never met anyone. So this weekend was my first time meeting everybody. So it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. What's the vibe around the team that, that, you, that you've picked up? I it's great. Everyone gets along there. really, really well. I can tell that everyone gels. You have really good chemistry, and it's, it's, it's an awesome environment to be around. Michael, when you're going well, what's working for you? How do you like to kind of do it out there? Um, for me, it's about attacking guys and attacking the hitters. Um, when I'm going well, I have a lot of confidence that I'm not scared to throw to anybody. And it's just filling up the strike zone and going after guys. You threw something out that you had been an Orioles fan. Yeah, how, I how just so. And had you been to Camden Yards for games? I've never been to Camden Yards. I just, uh, you know, I love Cal Ripken Jr. Growing up, watching him play, I think everyone did, and it just really drew me to the Orioles. You look at your stats last year. The Coast League, obviously, numbers go up. Mm -hmm. uh, how was that for you between Double A and Triple A? It was a learning experience. You know, there was a lot of things that I took away from that, and. It was a great opportunity, and I learned a lot from it, and I think I grew as a pitcher from it. If you had one area that you think you needed to work on to take that next step, what would it be? Uh, definitely controlling my pitches, commanding counts, things like that, staying ahead of hitters. Along the same lines of spring training approach I asked you about earlier, does that make like stats more important for a younger guy like you than it would be for a more established um, you know, I think younger guys tend to look at them a little more. Whether they actually <coughs> matter as much or not, I can't really say. Um, but, you know, it is hard sometimes to get away from those numbers and just focus on what you need to do.